Right, okay, so from 5.7, this is genuinely something that um, you, you're going to need to know. Um, it's not that hard, it's just students kind of forget what to do with it, really. Uh, it's something called the difference of squares. And normally I stand up in the front of the classroom and I go, come on guys, what's this? And they all, I get blank looks and I go, the, I still get blank looks, but the d, d, and the difference of squares. And it flies. Um, because, you know, it comes up a lot in college algebra. And I'm standing there go, come on guys, do you recognize this from 055? You know, the old 099. And they go, uh, the difference of squares. Um, the reason I is, okay, here's why it's the difference. Notice it's got a minus in between. And it's only got two terms. It's not the threes like the trinomial. These are binomials. There's only two things in them. In other words, what we tend to look at here is, is here's the x squared. Here's the number. There's no x in the middle like you used in the trinomials. It's like it's gone. And you'll realize why when we do these. Now, okay, so again, watch. As in everything else, parenthesis, parenthesis. Okay, so same thing, just like factoring trinomials. How do you get that x squared at the start? It's an x and an x. Okay, there's your x squared. How do you get that number at the end? 49, 7, and 7. So recognize a bit like the special products we just did, looks the same, yeah, okay? But now, here's the reason why we don't have any x as that middle term, okay? The reason why they've gone and they've vanished is this, and I'll just write it right now. doesn't matter which way around you do it. There. So if I write 1 plus and 1 minus, so they do look the same except the sign's different, okay? It's still x and a 7, x and a 7, but 1 plus 1 minus. The reason is, here we go, watch. There's your x squared, the first. There's your negative 49, the last. Now watch. Outer, positive 7x. Yeah. Inner, negative 7x. And that's why there's no x's in the middle. Okay. So I tend to just chant this to myself when I see these. When I see the difference of squares, I think, okay, square root, square root. 1 plus, 1 minus. Square root, square root, 1 plus, 1 minus. And those are the two parentheses, because you've square rooted them. It's the difference of squares. These things have been squared, so square root them to get the answer. So if I do this one, so if I think to myself, OK, square root, square root, 1 plus, 1 minus, what's the square root of 25? There's the 5. There's the 5. OK, but it's 25x squared, so again, x and x okay and that's how you get the 25 x squared 9 square root of 9 is a 3 and a 3 and of course when you do multiply those two you get the 9 and again 1 plus 1 minus no matter how you write it okay so again there's your 25 x squared there's your negative 9 notice because you've got 1 plus and 1 minus you're always going to have a minus number at the end or minus term at the end so that's negative 9, and here we go, right. Outer, negative 15x. Inner, positive 15x. Okay, and again. Rosie? Hey, Rosie, what are you doing? Sorry, I think my dog's eating the cat food. Right. And that's why you get the no x's again, but recognize them. So it's not the same parenthesis. It looks like the same parenthesis, like the last material we did, but it's just a sign change. One's plus and one's minus, and that's it. The difference of squares. If I just, let's get the eraser up. Let's erase some of this. Try and remember it, All right? Do this one. It's just back to front. Well, it's okay. Square root the first one. Square root the second one. One plus one minus. Okay. This time the numbers first. What's the square root of 144? How do I get 144? A 12. And a 12, okay. X squared has come from an X and an X, okay. It's just back to front this time. And again, 1 plus, 1 minus. There you go, okay. Um, okay, trick ones. Uh, this one here. Is it trick? Is it? I don't know. Now, I look at this and I think, well, wait a minute, here we go. I've got the two terms. I've got the minus in the middle, just like questions 6, 7, and 8. But I can't square root these things, all right? I can't square root of 3. I can't square root of 75. Well, the reason is, is, look, remember, go back to the very basics. Can you factor something out of this first? Yes, I can factor a 3 out of both these terms. So 
Where's my mouse? There we go. Three, it can come out. Okay, once it does, remember, you know, if you realize what you can factor out, you do a little division to find out what's left, you know, the same old stuff. That's going to give me x squared minus 25. And there you go. There's that difference of squares problem right there. Okay, so I've still got the three. But again, two parentheses. Let's factor an x squared minus 25. I can see it's a difference of squares. So an x and an x, a 5, square root of 25, and a 5, 1 plus, 1 minus. And there it is. Just has that 3 at the front, and that's it. OK? Um, I don't know. If, maybe I'll just go a little bit. I'll just go do one more. I mean, because uh, this question 10 here. Looks a bit funny. Now, I suppose if you wanted to, guys, you could, um, you know, if you wanted to foil that x plus 2, x plus 2 times x plus 2 and change it into um, just, you know, something that's easier to factor, maybe. But this is still saying, okay, I can square root this, and I can square root this. Because don't forget, you can always square root something that's been squared, it just takes you back to where you started. So, um, if I do this, big parentheses now, okay, big parentheses. Well, I know I'm going to have a 6 at the end, all right? Let me just do that one first, all right? I'm not going to have a 6 at the end, all right? 6 at the end. I know it's going to be 1 plus and 1 minus, all right? That's how I get the negative 36. Now, when you square root an x plus 2 squared, that's just taking you back to the x plus 2, okay? In other words, I know it looks a bit funny, but there's the x plus 2. Here's the x plus 2, Okay? So if I did multi if I did multiply those two together, I could write them as x plus two squared. Uh, again, one plus one minus. That this is a little bit awkward one. It's definitely an unusual thing. Whether you see it on the test or not, we'll see. Um, but it's still that difference of squares. I square rooted that, right? I square rooted that in each and one plus one plus and one minus. I mean, I do have to combine these now, isn't two and six? Isn't that eight? Uh, it isn't 2. Take away 6, is that negative 4? Okay. So that's what it is. But maybe, like I say, if you wanted to, if you want to kind of foil that, remember I think one of the questions we did in the last session, um, you could just foil it if you want to. Remember it's x plus 2 times x plus 2. Don't just square the x and square the 2. Um, that's just a little trick one. But the rest of them, they are um, classics that we use a lot. You know, especially these, uh, just these here. Okay, so things like these. We use those a lot. As long as you can see what to do with them, that's the main thing.